Speaking of, I haven't been getting any of the Swedish flavor events. There are lots of them. I know one of them's triggered by high, uh, or at least more likely when you have high army tradition, so let's see if we can't get some of that. SCATTER BEFORE US! Hmm. You insolent fools. Why are there so many culture conversions going on? Just because I had spare dip points. I suppose I don't really have spare dip points because uh, now I'm integrating the guy. But still, I just wanted to eradicate Norwegian and Danish as cultures and get a nice big Sami here. Uh, hmm. Who's mad enough to take a stability hit instead of losing 10 army tradition? We're looking at a madman right here. Now, thankfully, due to our siege ability and our superior tactics, these sieges take no time at all. Ah, he rebuilt the Great Wall. That's working against us. Shamanism grows ever stronger. Hope this war doesn't go on for too long. I do have land that I need to give to uh, Novgorod after all. Could be an idea to attack other people during this war, but having Austria breathing down our neck like that is uh, unpleasant. Not really interested in the Crimean region at this point in time. Nice big penis shaped Sami culture lands. The biggest Sami. I'm uh, interested as to why Mali have not taken over Ashanti. Ah, oh, that isn't nice. I was hoping I could uncover some of this land. Wish I knew how spread of discovery worked here, because it isn't working for us right now. Alright, Danzig. Danzig, I don't actually want you to gain too much more base tax, because you have permanent revolt risk that I cannot get rid of. What a shame. We'll just get uh, more manpower off of you, since you're a manpower-heavy province. Goddamn Danzig. Jake, infiltrate Meng. Well, I do have lazy diplomats. to fight the guy you know the good money's on you the good money's on you because the guy don't get any improvements in their uh, troop type because they're a horde however they shall soon become part of my greater empire oh wow okay the guy had that one good going let's just get you guys over to on you. Hmm. I 
Jake, do you know how to get that agricultural revolution event? Yeah, have innovative. It'll fire a lot more often. Otherwise, it only fires on provinces that have um, grain as a trade good. So grain is really good. Grain always holds its price throughout the entire game, unlike other fluctuating commodities. So just in general, it's good to have grain as a trade good. As opposed to EU3, where you sell grain and you went, ugh. The only thing worse than grain would be naval supplies and wool. Because what are economies? Give me the war score, Hassel. Yeah, Montenegro got. Okay, that's not good. The Austrian Bohemian Unification War? Damn. That is what they call not very good. Austria is at war with. I'm sorry. Austria. Bohemia, Hesse, Saxony, Thuringia. They can't fight Saxony and fight on behalf of Saxony. So I'm going to prevent this miscarriage of justice. It's going to be pretty expensive. I don't know what the enemy can field, and I don't have that many troops available for fighting in Europe. But having an Austria ruling over the Bohemians? Not on my watch. Uh, also, all oh right, we did get Gustav Horn on the throne. I need to declare that war as well. Mm. Lots to do. All right, so Bohemia don't seem to be joining in. Hopefully they do, or else I'm going to be in a bit of a pickle. I feel awfully short on generals. We don't need our strongest men over here, so use your amazing teleportation techniques to get back here, please. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can't thunder through Saxony. And for God's sake, Bohemia, join in. Or else all is lost. May not seem like it, but I'm trying to protect you. Bohemia, please! I would quite like the Golden Horde to like me, because it would trigger the uh, the event without me having to cozy up them in any way. But all those, all those malices, they're just, they're just gonna work against us. Those troops I got from Unigai. Oh, they're good. They are good. I'll take them all. If Austria integrate Bohemia and Hungary, that's going to be one hell of an end game boss for you. Indeed, that does appeal. However, I really want Krakow back. Yeah, Bohemia don't seem to want to join in. Still, a free war with Saxony, uh, Saxony and Thuringia can't be all that bad. I have no cores or claims on you. And you're probably too big to vassalize yet by a country mile. Hmm. Hmm. But I do want all your land. Tricky decisions, really. I'll be able to ditch 24 of my overextension. Takes me down to 5, 9, 11 base stacks. So I could happily take roughly 13 base stacks off of you. Okay, you're all fairly high base stacks. 
How much did I say I could take? 13? That's 14. 5, 9, and 2 is 11. Actually, it means I could take 14, actually. So I'll try to take these three provinces. They're all inside the Lubeck trade node, which is what I want. Still, that's... Uh, I'm unhappy that Bohemia didn't join in. And they're in the coalition against me, so I can't just declare my own separate war on them. Curses. Nor will they leave the coalition, so... Uh, looks like we're fighting Austria, Bohemia, Hungary. What a pity. And another general bites the bullet. Jake, you could core some of those here at the admin camp. Yeah, but I also could advance my technology. sieges either. It's a man to do. Hopefully he just satisfies himself with sieging our land. Alright, rest in pieces, Commandant. Jake, colonize. Yeah, I'm aware of my free colonists, but I'm not colonizing with them. Okay, Austria happily took that province. And since we just cored up an admin tech, I don't think we'll be needing that for a wee while. Gee, it's ten years though. I wonder if that's going to uh, strike me for the rest of the game. It's a bit of a nasty uh, event. And as I recall, in E3 it happens for the rest of the game. So that's another problem. At least I won't have to worry about Silesia. They won't be under threat. I mean, they've still got my guarantee, so that's no problem, but... If Bohemia is under Union, means they can't fight them. Alright, Carl, show us what you can do. But don't die in this battle, okay? Because that would be terrible. Showed them. It may take longer to siege up these coastal provinces, but they are very rich and high in war score. Thirty, pretty much forty from battles. All is well, which makes it a bit dull because it's just kind of rolling through the enemy. <sighs> That's interesting. Croatia took the capital. 
Mm, no, in Unification War that will make a difference, unfortunately. Jake, maybe you should declare war on Shanti now before you get Regency. That is definitely on my mind right now. However, nobody free. Who don't I need? I don't really need administration on me. Feels like I've been colonizing this one province forever, but it's finally done. So I can send my colonist here to continue wrapping myself around Ashanti. Sami West Africa are unhappy with the competition from others. Well, I'm not going to... Eh. I could do without Revolt Risk and Gold Coast of all places. Oh, that local trade power is a big hit. But if I don't conquer it, they're going to be unhappy. Whatever, I ignore your demands. Do what you will. Probably going to pull one of my merchants then, because I won't have the 50% uh, of the trade power in the area. No. I've still got it. God bless these buildings. Yeah, I know if you don't take the building, they get all up in arms about it, don't they? Okay, did not notice you there. Ah, so much going on. You know how bad I am at fighting world wars like this. But I need to get all my wars wrapped up fairly swiftly. So that I can swiftly protect her at Ming, release Ming, take land from Saxony, and release it all. But I'm sure we have time for a few more claims, don't we? We've got Fife, but I'd quite like Ayrshire as well. Hmm. as Boon War score as well. And now I don't have to subtly hide the fact that I'm trying to go for a protectorate, so I can check and see how we're doing towards that. Needing 100% is uh, kind of a downer on that. Just means we've got to do more damage. Getting Vietnam out of the war will help us out to 2% war score. Hot oh, damn, you just can't go wrong with this siege ability, can you? got Oyo and Hasadi, so you don't need a shanty, do you? Uh, well, one of my mantras is always have a backup plan, so I will keep a shanty. I really don't want to take too much overextension here. The events are painful. 
So we'll just sit on Saxony for a while. Two out of three events, pretty good. Alright, I think we're swimming in prestige enough, so let us... Mm. No, I'd rather be making more money. Shoot, why did I convert you? I need to sell you. Well, guess I'm coring you. Free colonist, Jake. Yeah, but I'm not using him until I can see over here. Granted, I could do this province. Hmm... I want to get further this way. Well, it seems to be taking forever anyway. Let's send him. Yeah, well, let's not do more on. Let's be a bit more careful from now on with that. Okay, he almost sees the light. A bit more war score, and we will have him. Everyone just keeps asking how he became shamanist. I went pro I went bankrupt when all I had was a shamanist province. As simple as that. Ah, too many things going on in the world right now. I need to get out of all these wars. out, are they? Well, once I have everyone out... Oh my! Excellent choice there, uh... Austria. Not only did you make Bohemia your union miner, you broke them off from Krakow. Hold on, this is making less and less sense the more I think about it. France will probably join in when I, uh... When they stop being in this other war. And it's only against Aztec, I'm sure they'll have no problem. Alright, all our diplomats are free, so we can make peace with everyone. Might as well make peace with Saxony first, since it's going to be heavy on the aggressive expansion. Could I not perhaps return some land? Hmm. Yeah, I could just take it and core it. Oh, I have a claim on Lundberg? Your six base tax. Your three base tax. That would push me a little bit over, though. There's no good reason to do it anyway. Gives me 56, which on top of this is a bit much. But I can get rid of 24. That's fine, we'll stick to the original plan. So I take that, we get even more aggressive expansion. So there's a base of 20, but in the HRE that means pretty heavy going. Yeah, we're looking at 50 to 100 aggressive expansion with all the main players here. We will make Ming our protectorate. It'd be nice to take land off of them as well, but there is no need. And then we say to Ashanti, congratulations, you win. We shall cancel our so-called vassalization of Ming. Only cost 77 as well. And now our aggressive expansion is completely gone. We're a little over the overextension limit here, though, so let us get rid of you know, Ryazan. Ryazan's high base tax. Curiously, would you buy Gallic? Well, you would. 
Well, I'm coring it anyway. I see no good reason to stop. Hold on, I made a mistake here. I no longer have a border with Muscovy. However, I do have my border with Pskov, so I can fight them. No problem. Oh, what am I saying? Of course I have my border with them. And I foolishly left the... Uh, foolishly left the coalition. Yes, uh, getting rid of... Uh, Cancelling it did cost me 50 to blue points. Can leave a small stack over to deal with this area, as we often do. The rest of you get home. Saratov is good this time of year. Someone says Dem borders. I agree. Beautiful, aren't they? So now people are just going to drop out of the coalition. Let's get our cores going, expensive though they may be. Hmm, we lack troops over here. I doubt I can annex you in one shot, but it would be interesting if I could. 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 20. 20 with four provinces? Spain, defender of the Catholic faith. The thing is, attitude towards enemies would probably make you fight Austria. Of course, now we have to deal with even more than we had to deal with last time. And uh, you are weaker than last time. I still really want Krakow so I can then integrate Poland. But I also want Podlasi, so what am I meant to do here? Could declare war on Bohemia, fight Bohemia, Austria, Hungary, Spain. The only prize I get for it will be Krakow. I won't be able to take much of my Hungarian ambition. Mm, should probably be dealing with our revolts as well. You know what, since you being there actually does nothing, might be an idea to take you away. But I will be fine. If I uncover some land here, then it won't be so fine. Spain annexed Fwa Jake. Mm, damn. That will have to go punished. What's more is they can probably culture convert it. Well, this is Spain, they probably will culture convert it. fairly well in the world. I'm not sure if they're ever going to be able to convert that land though. They don't seem to take uh, religious. They would only need 2% to convert it though. So if they just had stability they could convert Ratabor. Hmm. Alright, discipline, forced march, manpower, this is good stuff. You finish off Ryazan, I'll give you another one. Lazy diplomats, but I'm unsure what to do with them. So much land that I want to sell to Novgorod. Oh, Netherlands! You certainly haven't done much here. It's a shame that all you get are claims, though. Now, if you got cores, that would be a different story. Oh yeah, Jake, the Mamluks formed a coalition on me without sharing any sort of border. What, not even through sea? As in, you have a sea province and they have a sea province anywhere in the world. Because that's a 